All right. <laughs> um, so actually, uh, I'm not going to get too much uh, revenge today. In fact, I thought of changing the title to "Return of the Female Nerds" to do kind of a Star Wars analogy,、um, where they change "Revenge of the Jedi" to "Return of the Jedi." But I thought that might be a little too geeky.、Um, so, <laughs>、uh, so at any rate, I, I've become interested in this topic of、um, female geeks and、uh, women in technology、uh, over the past. Eight years that I've worked as a science and technology journalist for places like Wired and Popular Science,、um, a bunch of American magazines、um, that deal with these issues,、um, and so, and my background is actually not was not originally in science or technology. I have a PhD in English,、um, and so my experience of、uh, technical areas and how women are faring in those areas comes. Partly from an outsider's point of view, and I think that that's partly why I've been、um, able to tackle this topic because I think a lot of women who are actually working in labs and who are having to deal with checking in code every day don't necessarily have the time to worry about gender politics in the workplace because they're on deadline and they're doing important things.、Um, and so there's a lot of observations that I've been able to make and talk about、um, that,、uh, partly as a result of my position、um, as a writer coming from outside the community,、um, but I've also been in the community. Um, and about oh five or six years ago, when I went to my first、um, DefCon, I'm sure you all are familiar with with DefCon.、Um, I was covering it for a newspaper, and I was really quite stunned that literally at every turn, every time I would approach someone and talk to them, I would be asked whose girlfriend I was、um, or whose sister I was. Um, and I wasn't just being asked this by men, and I want to emphasize that because I don't want to turn this talk into something about how men are oppressing women or all of these problems are coming from men, because they're quite simply not.、Um, what we're talking about here is a gender problem,、um, and we're talking about women's perceptions of themselves as well as men's perceptions of women.、Um, but it is true that in the hacking community there is a very stark. Uh, reality, which is that there are fewer women than men, far fewer、uh, women,、um, and that those women are not perceived.、Uh, those women who are here are not perceived as being as important、um, or as、um, worthy of respect as the men.、Um, so, partly, this is what drove me to edit、uh, this anthology that I've just come out with, called "She's Such a Geek," which has essays、uh, by 24 women talking about、uh, their careers in technology and science and. Video game design and comic book writing—all、um, areas that are traditionally、uh, male-dominated geek areas—and、um, among those women, and, among, and sort of in the observations I've made as I've been working in this field,、um, I've seen a lot of different ways that women have responded to the bias in the community.、Um, some women have quite simply used the fact that men underestimate them as a Uh, a way of gaining an advantage.、Um, it's great if you're a female hacker and people are constantly underestimating you. It allows you to、um, take advantage of people's vulnerabilities. It allows you to get a lot more information. It's quite simply a good position to be in、um, a lot of times if you're trying to.、Um, you know, it's it's good to have people underestimate you if you want to、um, do some social engineering.、Um, but other women、uh, have dealt with it. By、um, allowing themselves to get pushed aside out of technical jobs and into more managerial jobs or into jobs that relate more to front-end stuff or QA stuff,、um, partly because they've、uh, constantly come up against this wall of people assuming that they're not going to be as good as their male counterparts,、um, and still other women have simply left the technical fields that they、um, either majored in in school or started out in, just left them all together out of disgust,、um, out of dismay.、Um, Out of just being fucking pissed off,、um, <clears throat> and so. But the fact is, as I said, I'm not really here to sort of wring my hands over this and to say, you know, gosh, there's this huge problem. You know, women are being oppressed. What I want to do instead is take a really hard and clear look at the social forces that are causing the gender imbalance within the technical and scientific communities and how we can solve the problem that's been created. Um, so it's not about looking necessarily at sort of what the terrible things that are happening, but just sort of what causes them and how can we fix it. And again, to look at how both genders in this equation have a problem. This isn't just a male problem. This isn't just a female problem. Everybody's getting screwed,、um, and and that needs to be fixed. So I want to begin by giving you two stories、um, about、uh, gender. 
And one of them is somewhat orthogonally, or orthogonally related to this talk.、Um, but I want you to keep these stories in mind as I'm talking about some of the myths that are preventing women from coming into science and technology.、Um, the first story has to do with what happened to a gymnasium that was being built at the University of California at Berkeley, where I went to school when I was getting my PhD. So there was this really awesome gym. We all went there and rode the stairmaster and all that crap, and、um, and it was fantastically large but very old. And so. Uh, the administration decided they wanted to rebuild the gym at great expense, and lots of al alumni were giving money. So they did this huge study of how the gym was being used, so that they could then rebuild the gym、uh, according to its use. So one of the things that they found was that women were using the gym 30 percent as much as men. And so, in rebuilding the gym, what they would do is they would make the women's locker room, which had formerly been exactly the same size as the men's locker room, they would make it 30 percent, you know, of the of the size of allotted to the locker rooms. So, men would get a much larger locker room, and women would get a much smaller locker room.、Um, so, basically, what they did was <clears throat> instead of Looking at sort of the last 50 years of history and sort of the escalation in the way women were using the gym and sort of projecting that into the future, they built a physical structure that was going to last for probably another 50 or 100 years.、Um, that was based on how women had used the gym in the past. So they basically physically limited the number of women who were going to be able to use the gym based on this scientific study of how women had used it historically. So just、um, and they could argue, of course, that this wasn't gender bias. Because it was just based on fact.、Um, so keep this anecdote in mind as I tell you another story,、um, which is about DefCon again. Just because I go to DefCon a lot, so I'm just going to pick on it.、Um, so in 2005, I was at DefCon again, and I was actually giving a presentation.、Um, and somebody there was giving a presentation, sort of like this presentation, about female hackers.、Um, he was a male graduate student,、um, and the fact that he was male is, is somewhat irrelevant, although. Um, <clears throat> what happened was, he came up to the front of the room and he said, "All right, I've been doing research on female hackers. What I have, what I know to be true is that there are no female hackers. So why is this?" So as he was addressing the room, I was looking around in the room, and there were dozens of female hackers in the audience. And as he continued to talk, and as he continued to tell them and me that they didn't exist, they slowly left the room. By the end of his talk, they didn't exist. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is an example of research, which is a self-fulfilling prophecy.、Um, and he had gone into his research, in which he had tried to reach out to hacker women to find out why they didn't exist.、Um, <clears throat> and he had found, indeed, that they didn't exist.、Um, so. This past year, actually, I pitched、uh, a panel to DefCon that was going to be me and two other women、um, talking about female hackers, but it was rejected.、Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, sorry about that, <laughs> but I'm here. So,、um, I want to use these anecdotes to frame、uh, the way we're going to talk about gender inequalities in computing as a social problem,、um, because I want us to think about two basic issues when we when we're talking about. Women in computer science, women in technology and engineering, which is first of all, how do you use statistics about those things that are based in the past in order to plan for the future? Because of course we're assuming that the future of women in computing will be very different from the past. And also, how do you study something that so many people are claiming doesn't exist?、Um, so the other thing I want to mention before I、uh, continue is that I have some basic underlying assumptions、um, that I'm going to have in this talk. Um, one of them, as I've said to you probably like 13 times already, is that gender inequality is a problem for both men and women. Men are harmed just as much by gender roles as women are. Men are harmed when they don't have access to the knowledge of 50% of the population in their workplaces.、Um, they're harmed by social expectations about childcare just as much as women are. Blah blah blah. I'll talk more about that later.、Um, <laughs> uh, the other thing is,、uh, I absolutely. I'm not interested in having a debate about whether women have as much technical and scientific aptitude as men. They do. End of story. If you want to have a debate about that, go somewhere else.、Um, <clears throat> the other thing is,、um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
The other thing is, as I've said,、uh, historical statistics aren't helpful. Although I'm going to look at a lot of historical statistics with you, so I'm sort of, you know, a bit wishy-washy on that point.、Um, and as I said our, already, my other assumption is that women in, the, in high tech and the sciences do exist.、Um, I know them. You know them. A lot of them are in this room. Yeah. Okay. So we know that that's the case.、Um, so. Let me talk about some of the statistics that get bandied around a lot when people talk about women in、uh, science and、um, technology.、Um, this first set of statistics that I have up here are from a National Science Foundation study、uh, that looked at women in computer science over a period of a little over,、um, uh, you know, whatever, 15 years.、Um, sorry, I'm having a little mathematical problem here. Uh, and so this is a very often quoted statistic because in 1985, women held 36 percent of bachelor's degrees in computer science. This is all; these are all, unfortunately, statistics from the United States. So I'm sorry about that.、Um, I didn't have access to, to comparable European statistics, but I'd like to hear if there are statistics like that for Europe and particularly for Asia, because I think、um, actually the recent study from、uh, the National Academy of Sciences in the United States has found that actually. Um, these statistics don't hold so much for Asia,、um, but at any rate, so then in 1995, women held only 28% of bachelor's degrees in computer science, and then in 2001, they held only 27% of them. So this was touted a lot in the media when it came out as sort of women or women's participation in computer science is in decline.、Um, women only held 13.6% of computer science jobs in 2001. So this was cited as an example of well, we tried to push. Women into computer science, but they naturally fell away、uh, from computer science.、Um, now, one way to look at these、um, statistics,、uh, which I think is quite interesting, is if we're looking at、uh, women's participation in technology as a social issue and women's participation as a response to social forces.、Um, in the United States,、uh, there was a, a strong conservative. Tendency in in the country、um, during the late 1980s, which is when a lot of the women who、um, studied that that 28 percent and that 27 percent of women、uh, were starting to study study computer science. And so, if you look at this as a trend in、um, sort of social conservatism, what you're seeing is as the United States grows more socially conservative, it produces fewer and fewer women、um, who are going into computer science and the sciences generally.、Um, whereas in 1985, a lot of those women had grown up during the 1970s, which was a period of relative liberalism in the United States, and there was also a lot of social funding for.、Um, Uh, programs that encouraged young women to go into math and science and、um, computer science fields.、Um, now, the other thing that's really interesting, and this is my favorite statistic in the entire universe,、um, which is in the same 2001 study that told us, oh, women only have 27 percent of、um, computer science degrees. They, it also pointed out that women held 56 percent of bachelor's degrees in the sciences overall. However, they only held 25% of jobs in science and engineering.、Um, and then, as a comparison, I noted that women held 57% of bachelor's degrees in the life sciences and 34% of those jobs. Now, what you're seeing there, if you're concerned about this aptitude issue, is that yeah, women totally have an aptitude for science and engineering, but somehow the job market doesn't know it. Somehow, there's this huge drop-off between the aptitude that young women show while getting their degrees,、um, and then when they hit the job market, that evaporates. So what we're seeing is a social problem, not an intellectual problem on the part of women.、Um, we're seeing a problem with women getting jobs,、um, <clears throat> and also just for like some sugar on top of your statistics, because you can never have enough statistics. Um, I just wanted to add that there was this very interesting study in the late 90s by the Swedish Medical Research Council that showed that women had to work 2.2 times more than their male counterparts、um, in order to get grants and financial support. So again, what you're seeing is a kind of social problem、um, around women succeeding in their fields.、Um, and what I want to do now is pull back and give you a final chunk of statistics to look at the big picture and to see where women are trending. Um, in, the compu- in computer science as a field,、um, over the past、uh, several decades, this chart—oh, it looks much better up here than it does on my screen.、Um, 
It actually starts in 1966, where you see 